Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Stick to YouTube. It's like TV. Yeah. Bow, bow. Yeah. Mama Nyla. Look at CK in the way, just cuz. <laughs> a little vlogger. Don't forget to uh, go on their website, The Can Team. I mean, their, their YouTube page, The Can Team. Well, I'm gonna put this on my Can Team video. <laughs> yeah, they need some, some views. I think they only have one subscriber or something like that. Five subscribers. They have five subscribers, so check out The Can Team. I'll put a, uh, I guess I start to link them in the bio below. East Chester. We're in East Chester, New York right now. I was born in West Chester, so Mount Vernon, actually. West Chester County Hospital, if you must know. So, uh, it feels like I'm around familiar grounds. I don't know if I am. Oh, he's leaving with the... Man, dude is, dude is leaving with the signage. Like, man, he's selling everything. Look, the stands. The stands are ten dollars. The beams, oh, oh my god, they're selling everything. How, how? I wonder how much the cash registers are. Look how, look how empty. I never seen a store this, this empty before. This is real, man. What I'ma do with a mannequin? When, when, when you, when, when you, when you're tired, I use the mannequin. Hey, you broke the arm off? You broke the arm off. Would you believe that Lord and Taylor is selling all of this stuff? I mean, men, women, mannequins, the whole store. They're selling everything. Tables, the whole nine. It's amazing. You don't want the gray one, right? Guys, I'll show you. It's definitely a, a sight to behold. Is that the word? It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's a lot that goes into creating these department stores, monetarily. <laughs> they ain't even selling the water bottles. Golly, selling water bottles? I wonder if they're selling the toilets. You think they're selling the toilets, CK? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, imagine, I just went to go to the bank all the way up here and we ended up shopping. It was like the opposite of what I came here to do. We should get a rug. Still a thousand dollars for these suckers. Nine thousand dollars for these rugs? You gotta be kidding me. What? There's absolutely no more clothes for these kids. I don't think there's anything for you guys. You guys see anything? Nope. Maybe socks for Nyla? Man, they got the whack jeans here. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> like, they got, they got rid of all the cool stuff. All the cool stuff got bought up. Left the whack stuff. Like, uh, blue gear. <laughs> Chris Stapleton. Compact disc digital audio. It's pretty cool. Oh, I know her. I know these two. I wonder if this is for sale. Hey. Whoa. Hello. Hi. Ah, man, what a day. This is to recap our Lord and Taylor shopping experience at up to 80% off in some places 90 but i didn't buy anything for myself this is the woman's version from a man's perspective jennifer made out like a bandit all together no no we'll save that for the end but we did find some good deals like kid socks i don't know what brand this is but this went for 10 for five dollars 10 for five 
but we only got two because it was redundant. I mean, how many of the same socks are we going to get? We just keep getting the same stuff. Anyway, moving on. She got some belts. Belts from Lucky Brand. Originally $45 per belt. This is... I don't know if you guys could see this. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, lot of holes in this belt. And this is the buckle. So I guess it's pretty cool. This belt went for, let's see. I don't know. She got two of them. And this belt, one in black, one in brown. I like the brown one, preferably. I like the brown one. This is my, but each of these for $50 now go for $10, $10. That's, that's a lot of money off. I don't know. That's like upwards of 80% off. That's, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now I got something to spank her with. And I'm just playing. Okay. So you have the belts and the socks. Socks were $2 each. I don't know how much they originally go for. The socks originally go for. I don't know, it doesn't say, but they were a dollar each. Now comes the meat. She got, I saw this random rack of clothing to like the side and I know that every time there's like a random rack of clothing by itself, that means that the employees put some clothing to the side. And this is from years of shopping. So what did I see? Well, I saw these pairs, this pair of Hudson, jeans and on the tag it said could you see it 250 215 dollars i said jennifer you need to go try this so she went ahead and she tried it when she came out the dressing room with them on she called me because she only calls me when it's something she likes she had these on and it looks so damn good on her oh man these have like the little cuff right here little cuff now, they were originally $215. She got them for, drum roll please, $53. Whoa. Hudson jeans, the, the people I see that wear Hudson jeans are like, um, more like Trustafarians, you know, well-to-do, um, you know, like high-end type people who either, you know, come from money or they basically make a lot of money for where they come from and they're in the know so that's basically who we are too so yeah. then we she goes oh my god are there any more because what i did was i price checked this at first we were like ah we don't know you know how much it is so i asked the lady and she said 53 dollars i was like oh shit she's like i wonder if there's any more so i so she picked up some other pants whatever none of which she bought and she was like, I wish they would have had the shorts in like a, in my size. So I was, she went to the bathroom and I went looking and bow, found shorts in her size. These are the Amelia, Amelia shorts. I, which ones are these? I don't know which, which kind of cut the pants were, but these are the Amelia shorts. And uh, she, she loved them. They're originally were 145. I see like a $72, but they're originally $145. What she paid for was, this is ridiculous, actually. She only paid $23.75, my God, for a pair of Hudson jeans. And these are like the stretchy ones. I didn't see what they look like on her, but guarantee she's gonna put it on for me tonight. Ow. Okay, so those are those two. Then we weren't done. She said to me, oh my God, let's go. We, I got what I wanted. Sorry, I'm just checking the mic. She said, I got what I wanted. Let's get out of here. I said, all right. But she goes, I wish they had a pair of white pants. You know, there's just a bunch of white pants around. I, I'm not sure if I filmed it. So I went ahead and as she was saying that, I looked at the white rack and granted, these are a little dirty. Nothing's perfect. We found a pair of seven jeans my goodness originally they go for i don't know what this price says but it says 53 here 50 uh 60 there where's the receipt how much did we pay for these 
When we rang these up and asked how much they were, the lady said those are, bro, I'm just going to show you. Could you, could you see that? Nine, wait, is it? Five dollars and ninety-one cents. I'm not sure if I could show you guys if you guys saw it, but these seven jeans, nine, five dollars and ninety-one cents. What? She met out like a bandit. Granted, they're a little, little, but I tell you something about white jeans. I've had like two or three pairs of white jeans, and the and I've never gotten it to the point where it has like that little black mark on it. I don't know if you guys could see it, but. I've always seen people wear white jeans that have black stains on them, and it looks damn good. It really does. What the fuck? So, this, so anyway, finally, we're at the, she already paid. She's like, oh, my God, I made out like a bandit. And I said, man, but you didn't get any Joe's. Look at those jeans over there, Joe. She's like, ah, I never wore Joe jeans. I'm like, oh, well, these are, those are, what about those? Because she likes these kind of prints, these Joe jeans. I don't know what cut this is, but these originally go for 150. When I asked the the lady, the ca the cashier, how much it was, she she scans it and so originally these were 72 dollars. She paid only eight dollars and 43 cents for this. Eight dollars and 43 cents for this Joe's jeans. If you've ever had a pair of Joe's jeans, I have. They're really comfortable. They're made for every day and they look great. They don't lose their integrity after like a hundred. Why? Like they just don't lose their integrity. Joe's jeans. Skinny at the bottom too. Pretty. Jennifer made out like a bandit. Altogether, she spent a total of one hundred and sixty dollars less than that one hundred fifty one hundred fifty seven dollars on all these expensive jeans that would have been full price full price it would have ran damn 160 almost it would have ran upwards of four or five hundred dollars so she she made out like a bandit so all in all to say if it's still enough time, by the time you see this video, go run your ass to Lord and Taylor because they're liquidating everything. They're even selling the damn furniture, the mannequins, everything. You go ahead and you go shop there and buy you some clothes that are really inexpensive. That's my recommendation. Jennifer made out like a bandit. I will say they had nothing for men, nothing at all for men. That's why I didn't get anything for myself. Plus, you know, my overhead is tight. <laughs> But that has nothing to do with me shopping. I'm gonna be honest. If you know me, you know. You got no shopping from shopping type. You know, you shopping all the time type. You know, but I throw away a lot of clothes too, you know. So if you get a chance, go to the 70 to 90% off sale at Lord and Taylor. And um, if you don't follow me, it's all good. Don't follow me. Don't subscribe. Don't do none of that. But what you could do is in the description below is my Cash App. Um, dollar sign, let's get seats. You send that dollar there. Only one dollar. Yeah. But if you don't want to send a dollar, all you got to do is just subscribe. You know, that's free. You could just subscribe, leave a comment and like and all that. Or you could share or you could send it to my Venmo at bite the slash Big Apple. That's my company's name. Bite the Big Apple at Venmo. <sighs> that was a lot. Peace. I stick to YouTube. It's like TV.